Okay, ladies, let's talk about lipstick. So lipstick is one of those things that can you can throw on, you can easily feel a little pop of color or just a little bit more confidence. It helps lift your colors. As you can see right now, I have no lip color on and I look a little washed out, but I love a great nude lipstick. And for me, I know that because I'm so fair and I have really dark hair, sometimes nude lipsticks can just be a little blah on me. So let me show you my best tips on really wearing a great nude lip and how it can work for everybody. Step number one is I always start any lip color with my Mary Kay Age Fighting Lip Primer. This is gonna keep my lipstick on, it's gonna keep it in place, it's gonna help with fine lines and wrinkles. If you're gonna put it on, let's make it stay, right? Step number two, when you're doing a nude lipstick, always line your lips because the nude can sometimes be very uh, similar to your skin color, depending on the nude you're choosing. So the liner is gonna help give your lips some dimension and some shape, and it's gonna help your makeup and your lipstick balance your skin out more. So I am wearing the light nude lip liner today. There's also a medium nude and a deep nude, but you can decide how dark you want your lip liner. I'm going with a more natural look today, so I chose light nude. And next, I'm applying my Better Than Bare lipstick. This is a brand new lipstick that just launched for spring. It's our Supreme Hydrating line. And let me show you what it looks like on. I love it. It's really moisturizing. Goes on really smooth. But what I like about this lipstick line is while it's supremely hydrating and moisturizing, it lasts, the color lasts. So lipstick, this is brand new. And you can see this in your spring lookbook or click the link above and you can check it out, all the other shades. So I love that while you're getting a nice, soft, smooth lipstick, you don't have to worry about your lipstick coming off really quickly because it lasts. So this is the nude on me with just lip liner and better than bare supreme hydrating lip so now I'm gonna finish off my Better Than Bear nude lipstick with a lip gloss. Because for me, I prefer to have this a little bit more uh, pinky nude versus more beigey nude because of my skin color. Now that's one of the things that's great about nude lipstick. There's a nude for everybody and there's a way for everybody to wear the nude lipstick. It's all about the proportion of lip liner color, lipstick color, in which color nude, there's lots of nudes to choose from, and then whether or not you apply a lip gloss over top. I'm using Ballerina Pink Lip Gloss. It's a nice light pink that just really balances the nude out for me. So for me, I love the way that looks even more because it gives me a little pop of brightness without it being and that's why there is a perfect nude for everybody. It's all about proportioning your lip liner, lipstick choice color, and if you apply a lip gloss over top of it to balance it out. I love applying a soft pink lip gloss over my nudes because it just gives me the perfect balance. So direct message me if you are excited to get your lookbook in the mail and be sure to try the two lipstick samples that are in your lookbook that are arriving in your mailbox this week. Please let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. But if you need help picking the perfect nude lipstick for this spring, message me and I'm happy to get some samples out to you.